To start this project, I want to remove the fabric from all of the lampshades I've collected. I'm going to do this to all the lampshades I want to use for this project. I also want to sand down this pole. I found this at the dollar store and it was just a broom handle. To make sure the lampshades will slide over the pole, I need to remove the center rings from each one of them. In order to secure the pole, I've picked up a bucket of premixed concrete. I'm just going to slip the concrete into a larger bucket for support and then push the pole right down into the center of the bucket of concrete. While I love the shapes of the frames, I want to paint them and give them a more natural look. Now that the concrete is dry, I'm going to place the entire bucket and pole into a beautiful old crock that I have. To space out the lampshades and keep them in place, I'm going to put the lampshade over the pole and then mark where I'd like it to hang. I'm going to use that mark to add some hot glue to the back of the pole and then I'm just going to wrap this twine around about four or five times and then keep it in place with some more hot glue. To finish off the tree, I'm going to add some little copper lights. I really love how thin the wire is and it makes it super easy to wrap around the lampshades and the pole. I'm just looping them in and out around the lampshades and that'll be enough to keep it in place. I absolutely love how pretty this lampshade tree turned out. It fits perfectly to, into a small space and looks magical lit up. I hope this has inspired you to upcycle some lampshades into a unique Christmas tree as well. To begin my project, I took this piece of stained wood that I just had kicking around in my craft pile, and then I came in with the DecoArt Enchanted line of paints. So this black paint that I'm putting on here is the base coat. And then I came in with the DecoArt Enchanted in green. So this is the stunning iridescent top coat that we're going to paint on. And this is done with the gold. So in the same line, just a different color. Then I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to take these glass beads that I picked up at my local dollar store and I'm going to begin making a Christmas tree shape. So I'm just going to line them up starting with the larger row at the bottom and just working my way up the top. I'm placing them in spots here and then I'm going to make sure I like the shape and everything before I glue them down. I found this cute little plastic snowflake in my Christmas craft collection and that is what I'm going to use for my star. I'm just using regular hot glue to glue the glass beads down and then making sure I pull away any hairs from the glue gun. And then I'm going to glue my plastic snowflake in the top as well with some hot glue. For the base of my tree I have these little wood log slices and they just come in a little pack from my dollar store. And I'm going to take a pair of kitchen shears and I'm just going to cut them right in half. And then I'm going to place them on the bottom sticking up like a 3D effect almost like a realistic looking uh, tree stump. So this is what I'm using for the base. Once I have that gl glued down, I thought that the whole project needed just a little bit more embellishment, something just to really make it stand out a little bit more and jazz it up. So I came in with some Mod Podge and some gold foil and I just did like a gold leafing foil technique just around the edges to create a nice classy and elegant border and this just kind of gives my project a little more glam because I felt like it needed just a little something extra just to glam it up in time for Christmas. So I let that set and then I brushed away the excess. Then to add just the icing on the cake, I came in with this shimmer. So this is from the Enchanted line as well from Decor, And this is just like a top coat that you could put on top of things just to give it that little shimmer and shine. So it's like clear, but then when it catches the light, you'll just see little tiny flecks of sparkle. So it's really nice because it's not quite a sparkle, it's just a shimmer. And these are my finished projects here. So you can see the one I he did here with the green iridescent and then the gold as well. This is gutter guard. It is a plastic mesh material that is used to protect your gutters from leaves. But we're gonna use this to create a topiary. So the first thing I wanna do is roll out a big long length of it and cut it off. Now I want my topiary to be white and this gutter guard happens to be black. So the first thing I'm gonna do is spray paint it white. So I'm laying it out flat. I have secured the ends with some heavy objects and I'm just spraying one side of it white. Now I need a base for my topiary and I am using this red pot. I'm actually gonna leave some of the dirt that's in there after I pulled the plants out and I'm putting a piece of cardboard on top so I have a nice flat base. Now I'm cutting a slit in the middle with just a craft knife here. 
I grabbed this metal pole that I had in my basement. You could also pick up a metal pole at the hardware store while you're there. And I'm just gonna stick this through that slit I cut all the way down into the dirt so it's nice and secure. All right, my gutter guard is dry and the pot and the metal pole are all ready to go. So now I'm gonna put this together. So what I wanna do is weave this gutter guard on the pole so it kind of looks like a tree. And I'm just gonna continue this way, doing kind of a Z fold with this gutter guard and making the layers a little bit narrower as I go to the top again so it resembles a tree. To ensure that this doesn't move around, I'm adding a little bit of hot glue to where the gutter guard touches the pole, not on the whole thing, but on the top and then down toward the bottom because I don't want this slipping around. Now it's time to decorate. I've got this nice base on the bottom with a cardboard, so I'm adding some greenery in, and then I'm gonna add some ornaments as well. Now I'm just placing them in here, but once I get everything arranged just how I want it, I am gonna use a little bit of glue to keep these in place. I intend on keeping this topiary outside, so I want everything to stay put and not blow away. I also found some cute mini ornaments, and I'm hanging these on the topiary. You can get really creative with this. You can use any color scheme, any color pot, and really make this match your home decor. This topiary is gonna to sit on my porch this holiday season. It was so much fun to create something using non-traditional supplies. So for the base of this project, I'm using an apple basket. You can also use a flower pot for this. And in the bottom of this, we're just gonna put some rocks. This is uh, gonna sit outside and I don't want it to blow away. Now inside the basket, I'm just gonna take a flower pot, the kind that you might get a shrub or something in. We're just gonna stick this right on top. So this is our base. Now we're gonna place the tomato cage. We're just gonna pick it up and kind of set it in here a little bit. So this is pretty sturdy and snug in here, but I'm just gonna use a couple of zip ties to attach the handles of the apple basket to the side of the tomato cage. It's gonna help hold it in place. Okay, now that we're in there nice and sturdy, our basket is nice and heavy, let's turn this into a topiary. We're gonna pull the top up here together, so actually the bottom of the tomato cage, and use a little floral wire to twist around there and hold it together. Now starting at the bottom, we're going to use just sections of inexpensive garland like this to wrap our topiary. As you're going around, each of these wired pieces can be used to kind of wrap around the tomato cage as needed and really secure it in place. Now we'll come back and kind of fluff all these pieces up to make it look like a nice full topiary. No matter what season we're decorating for, we wanna add some lights. So we're just gonna take a set of white lights and string these around the tree. So let's pull out some fall decorations and we're gonna make this a fall tree. A roll of burlap, makes a really nice ribbon to go around. We could add some different color ribbons or some beautiful flowers. A tree that can work all through fall. So now let's turn this into a tree that's gonna work for winter. Burlap would actually work for winter, but we're gonna add a little bit of sparkle. So we're back to the bare bones of the tree with just the lights on it. So I'm going to start with some pieces of this wired silver ribbon. So we've got the ribbon kind of placed around the tree. Now we're gonna do, just like we did for the fall tree, we're gonna take some floral picks, but we went with some more sparkly versions this time. And we're just gonna stick these in around the tree. Can also use some other greenery like this, kind of a frosted look, and some pine cones. If you nestle these in really well, they will hold up, but you can always use some floral wire or even some hot glue to get them to stay. I hope you are inspired to go create your own DIY topiary and you took away some tips for decorating that kind of topiary for any season. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.